the Pieta is a, it's a, it's a very, very big chapel, church, and the entrance to the exhibition area is the door to the left of the entrance into the church. And directly into the corridor, the foyer and the corridor of the Pieta, which is parallel to the church. There I will be suspending work and making it probably one of the biggest pieces. The walk of 20 metres, 20 to 25 metres down that corridor is very super. It's high. It's, um, it's, it's a kind of real space. It's more than a corridor. It's, it's a long, long room. And it will be like a walk through, a, a journey. There are three, four, almost five different spaces. They are all different, all, all joining onto each other. It's a continuous walk. And I will work. What I really like was being able to work in spaces, not to have to do anything to them. There is a, an enormous density of the, um, the level from water to land. It's as, as in one continuous flow of things. So my use of fluorescent lighting will be to highlight, not to highlight just, but to make a very, as very strong a statement as I can about a level, about the kind of like um, the ambience of a level. The fluorescent is working outside as well. And fluorescent is, for me, very much like a drawing a line mark in space, standing. And it also means that the work is self-lit, which is a big advantage when you're setting up work water level. Standing on, standing on the land level, looking at eye level, which will be a water level. It's, sea level is land level, and all the spaces are on the same level, which is land level and sea level. There's a couple of pieces that make different. Um, movement, it's movement in space, it's moving something and things, things going through space has always been of interest to me because of the, the sense of moving, the kind of how does it get there, how it moves and also the kind of the visually, visual interpretation of moving. It's a, it's a, it's a strong, 